हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू राशिद इकबाल चैनल टुडे वी विल लर्न द इलेक्ट्रिकल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सिस्टम स्पेशली द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द रेडियल नेटवर्क एंड रिंग मेन नेटवर्क वी विल आल्सो इंट्रोड्यूस द कंसेप्ट ऑफ रिंग मेन यूनिट और वी कैन से आर एम यू एंड सी हाउ दे इनहेंस पावर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड फर्स्ट लेट्स टॉक अबाउट रेडियल नेटवर्क ए रेडियल नेटवर्क इज अ सिंपल इलेक्ट्रिकल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सिस्टम where power flows in one direction from the substation to the consumer through a single path it is commonly used in smaller less complex electrical system especially in residential and rural area in this setups each consumer or load is connected to single source of power and the path from the source to the load is unidirectional in a radial network power is supplied from the substation to all the distribution transformer through a single feeder in this layout you can see under normal condition everything work perfectly and electricity flows smoothly to the consumer however if there is a fault or cable damage anywhere along this feeder the entire system will be affected when a fault occurs the circuit breaker at the substation will automatically trip to protect the system as a result power to all the transformer connected to this feeder will be cut off leading to a blackout for all the consumers in that area meanwhile the electrical team must find the fault and repair it as soon as possible only then can the breaker be turned on restoring power to all transformers to solve the problems of the radial network There is another type of network we use often called ring main network or loop network. What do you see on your screen is an example of ring main network. In this network, we have two feeders from two different substation. Feeder 1 from substation A and feeder 2 from substation B. Sometimes these two feeders can come from only one substation. Means feeder 1 and feeder 2 connects from the same substation this setup create a loop which means each load can get power from two different sources but even this system is not perfect the problem here is that there are no switches if feeder 1 has a problem we can't disconnect the fault area because there are no switches to control it also the transformer which is very important and expensive doesn't have any protection so how do we make this system better we can simply add switches and circuit breaker to control and protect the system for example i can install switches between the load and feeders and also add a circuit breaker or load break switch with fuse to protect the transformer as shown here all transformer getting power from substation a through feeder 1 if there is a fault in feeder 1 between transformer 1 and 2 we can fix it by turning off the breaker on both side of the fault section this safely disconnects the faulty part so that technician can work on it when the breaker is off all transformer after it will shut down in this case substation b will start supplying power through feeder 2 so the all transformer can still get power this is one of the advantage of the ring network suppose there is a fault on the load or transformer side then in this case we can turn off the power using the circuit breaker without affecting the feeder this is the another benefit of the ring network now instead of installing these three switches separately we can combine them into one switch gear which is called ring main unit in this setup i have combined different switches into one unit we have switch 1 switch 2 and a circuit breaker all in one which we call rmu that is ring main unit in this picture we have switch 1 here switch 2 over there and the circuit breaker connects to the transformer which protect the transformer the rmu connects to the transformer like this one switch brings in the power another switch passes power to the next rmu or feeder and the third switch is for transformer protection remember the look of rmu can change depending on the company that make it so this is just an example so the question arises here why do we need uh, rmu so let's discuss how rmu 
work and why it is essential in power distribution. Through this layout, I am trying to explain you. In this ring main distribution network, we have two feeder, feeder 1 and feeder 2 supplying power. Six transformer, that is transformer 1, 2, 3, 4 and 6 are connected through the respective RMU to the feeders. Normally, power flows from feeder 1 through each RMU, which then supplies electricity to the connected transformers. Each transformer step down the voltage to a level suitable for the load, like homes, offices and other buildings. Under normal operating condition, feeder 1 supplies power to each RMU in sequence. Each RMU connects to a transformer that serves its designated load area, like, like house, office, etc. The RMU are connected in ring or loop, meaning if there is an issue in one part of the feeder, power can be redirected through the another side of the loop. This ring configuration provides a backup path for electricity. So if one part of loop fails, the system can still supply power from the other side. When the fault is detected between RMU2 and RMU3, the switch in RMU2 and RMU3 are used to isolate the fault. The switch on each side of the faulty section is opened, effectively removing the damaged part from the circuit. When the faulted section is isolated, then feeder 2 which is connected to the substation B can now be used to supply power. Now power can flow from feeder 2 to the all RMUs and transformer on the network, maintaining a continuous supply to the load. Meanwhile, technician can use a tag-in tag-out procedure to begin fixing the fault. This setup means all load continue to receive power even though there is a fault between RMU2 and RMU3. The ring system allows power to take an alternate path, avoiding the damaged section. While power is still being supplied to all load, technician can safely repair the fault on feeder 1 between RMU2 and RMU3 without disrupting the rest of the network. Once the repair is complete, Normal power flows from feeder 1 can be distorted and the switch can be reset to close the loop. So this is the main advantage of the RMU. Hope you understand. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more content on electrical design and calculations. Share your thoughts in the comment below. If you have any questions regarding RMU, please mention in the comment section. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.